Hey guys, my name is Justin. Uh, I'm the proud owner of a 2003 Sonic Blue Terminator Cobra convertible. Um, you can follow me on my Instagram, BlueJSVT, just kind of my experiences and my upgrades. I've had the car probably for about eight years now, I think. Um, I bought it from another guy who uh, worked at a dealership and I had a black Cobra at that time that had higher miles. Uh, and this was my dream car, dream color, um, had lower miles and everything uh, just matched up. I was able to uh, get, the, get the money for it, sold the other car, bought this one. Um, and it's been a love-hate relationship ever since then, so I've enjoyed it. Um, to start out with the uh, performance mods and everything that matters on this car, um, I'm rocking the Whipple Gen 5 3 liter. Um, it is mated to the VMP uh, intercooler core. I do have the one inch line adapters um, and I have three quarter inch rubber lines going to a 2015 uh, GT500 uh, AFCO heat exchanger. I've got a 2014 intercooler pump. Um, as far as uh, cooling mods, that's pretty much all I've got. The radiator is stock. Um, if you're anything like me and you've struggled with the uh, alternator issues that are common for Cobra owners, I've had a lot of them. Right now I'm rocking the uh, Nations alternator with the external regulator. And I have not had any problems with that, even with a large sound system. Um, everything I've got, it's sitting right at 14 volts, so it's been doing me good. Um, I've got all Metco idlers, uh, dual bearing. I do have the Metco uh, two pound and four pound lowers. I have the four pound on it now with the three and a half inch upper, um, probably pushing about 25 pounds of boost. Um, that's done for the engine. I haven't done anything that's unopened besides head studs. So that's a stock long block. And the only thing I've changed is the blower and the head studs for security purposes but I haven't had any problems with it. Um, I do have front bare 14 inch slotted and drilled brakes with stainless steel lines. It is sitting on H&R uh, springs. Um, I do believe I have the ISOs in that. Um, I've got the uh, McLeod RXT twin disc clutch uh, forward throw out bearing. Um, I did upgrade the transmission. It's got the Magnum transmission and I upgraded the a shifter to a tick performance shifter. Uh, the drive shaft is uh, mated to that. I got the one that matches the length of the transmission. My axles are drive shaft shop level five, I believe, axles. My differential, I did upgrade to a tree track, so it's basically maintenance free. Don't have to worry about the clutches slipping in that. Um, the full rear IRS has been uh, changed out the bearings and the uh, bushings in there to the full tilt boogie racing. All the bushings have been replaced. Um, nothing as far as brakes on the back has been done. I do have some Mickey Thompson drag radials on there. Saline rear wheels with Cobra R replica front wheels. Um, and for exhaust, I've got the SLP long tube headers mated to the SLP X-Pipe and LM2 uh, resonators. So it's full SLP exhaust all the way back. 